Hello friends, I'm Kajuko Cheche from the Department of MSc Physics, Assam Dambosco University. Today I'll be talking about this Van de Graaff generator. Before you go through this video, please like, share and if you want you can leave a comment. So, as you can see that I have drawn this figure from before. Before going through this figure, I'll be talking about this principle, construction and working. Before going through this principle, let me tell you something about this Van de Graaff generator. It is an electrostatic high voltage generator which can supply a few million volts. It is basically an arrangement for producing high potential difference. It is used to accelerate charged particles like electrons, neutrons, protons, ions, etc. which can be used for experimenting in nuclear physics. And the principle on which it works is that charge given to a hollow conductor is transferred to the outer surface and is distributed uniformly over it. Now I'll give a brief explanation about this figure. It consists of a large conducting spherical shell S supported by a stand S. Pulleys P1 and P2 runs over a belt. P1 and P2 pulleys are run by an electric motor. A spray comb C1 is connected to a high voltage rectifier which is earth. A collecting comb C2 is connected to a spherical shell S. Now the working principle. When C1 is connected to a high positive potential, it releases a positive charge which goes through the belt. And as you can see that the belt it keeps on moving in a clockwise direction, it goes through the comb C2 which receives the positive charge and it immediately moves to the outer surface of the shell. Now the belt keeps on rotating continuously so the charge on the shell increases continuously. When the charge on the spherical shell is very high, leakage due to ionization of the surrounding air also increases. To prevent this, the generator is enclosed in an earth steel tank under pressure. Now, the charged particles at the top of the tube are at very high potential with respect to the lower end of the tube. Thus, the charged particles are accelerated downward and hit the target emerging from the tube. The energy acquired by the charge is QV, where V is the potential difference of the spherical shell. That's all for today's topic. Thank you for watching the video. Please don't forget to like and share.